So, last video was on, at the end of Saturday, the guys with the digger and the whacker plate came back on Sunday and basically filled in, and this video has been done on Wednesday, uh, they came back on Sunday and having taken away a whole load of topsoil down to the level of the subsoil earlier on, the guys came back and refilled the hole with stuff which is very nearly describable as proper type one it's basically spoil and another building site that has been kindly donated to us and they've so they filled that back up and this is still not the level that is going to be required because the next thing that's going to happen is that this afternoon I'm going to work out, or rather Shane and I are going to work out how much more type 1, proper type 1, we may need to be delivered and that will be delivered to the middle of the flat base there and then we might just use hand shovels to then produce a level thing but the, the um, whacker plate will definitely be back um, on Monday or Tuesday of next week. So that means that that fence post will need, that fence panel will need to come back out again, but for the moment it's just whopped in place to show that we can. And the digger's gone, and the whacker plate's gone, and the chaps have gone. And the last thing they did, having filled that and whacked it fairly flat and a little bit higher down at this end, the guys then used the thinner bucket to scrape out a bit of a trench here which goes up to just short of halfway up there and just short of halfway up there that's because this end is going to be about a foot above the grass line and therefore it needs to have a bit of a retaining sort of wall to hold it all back and so you can see that green grass edge you'll be able to see about 10 or 12 inches of sleepers there so there's going to be a little sleeper wall which will be built into there and up about halfway there gradually disappearing into the dirt because by the time it gets to here it's at the right sort of height and also the same thing over the back and actually I think we'll be putting the sleeper wall in before we spread the type one that gets delivered here properly out because we'll be putting the sleeper wall into the correct height so that we will put the type one out to be exactly flush with the top of the sleeper wall so there we are they've um, started leaving some stuff about for future needs for when something is done about getting services in and sewage out which is going to involve a trench going across there somewhere so that's um this is after two days worth of effort so far